So the first stage about pavlova dessert is to make the meringues. So the ingredients are, we've got eight egg whites separated there obviously from the yolks, eight ounces of caster sugar, eight ounces of icing sugar, one level tablespoon of white wine vinegar, and a pinch of salt. So we're going to add the egg whites into the machine. So far all I've added is the caster sugar and the egg whites and we've beaten that for about three minutes until it's created some nice <coughs> peaks there as you can see. So the next stage is to add the salt, a pinch of salt, a tablespoon of the white wine vinegar and the icing sugar. We're now going to put that back on the machine and whisk it for another three to four minutes. Okay, we've been whisking that for a further three to four minutes and you can see now it's got some really firm peaks, so it's ready. So we're going to lay up the python bag and then pop them out onto a tray ready to cook. Five inch lengths of meringue to create a baton. So a little additional little garnish, we're going to make some little hazelnut meringues as well. So I'm just going to do some small little rosettes and then we're just going to add little hazelnut on top. That's going to be another garnish for our pavlova. Okay, so we've piped out our uh, meringues ready for the, the dish and we've got to cook them now. In the restaurant we cook them in the hot plate, but if you were doing it at home you want to put it in an oven at about 110 degrees for an, about an hour, an hour and a half. So additional little garnish, I'm going to make a strawberry twill. So I've got some rice paper here which you can get from all good cook shops. I've just cut it into some little ribbons. I'm now going to slice a uh, strawberry nice and thinly and place it onto the rice paper. It just sort of sticks on. Placed on like that. I'm then just going to give it a nice heavy dusting of icing sugar and I'm going to place that on a tray and put it in uh, an oven at 110 degrees for about two hours and the strawberries will dehydrate and go crisp and we'll end up with a lovely uh, twill of strawberries. Okay, so no pavlova will be uh, complete without a nice vanilla ice cream so we're going to make some fresh homemade vanilla ice cream. I've got 12 ounces of caster sugar, 12 egg yolks, we're going to put a tablespoon of glucose syrup uh, I'm going to make a sugar stock up with 100 ml of the water, the sugar and the glucose. Uh, I've also got one and a half pints of fresh cream, double cream and one vanilla plot scraped out. So the first stage is simply to put the sugar, 100 ml of water and about a tablespoon of glucose syrup. And then I'm going to put that onto the stove and we're going to heat that up until it reaches 121 degrees. We're then going to whisk up the egg yolks, add the syrup into the egg yolks. Okay, I've been whisking these egg yolks until they've gone nice and pale, as you can see. My next stage is to slowly pour in this uh, sugar stock that we've made. And we're going to whisk that in and then we're going to leave it to whisk until the egg yolks have gone cold. And I'll just start whisking in the stock now. we 
whisk the egg yolks with the sugar stock until they've gone totally cold and then I've whisked um, the cream with the scraped vanilla until it's soft peaks like so. All I'm going to do now is whisk cream into the egg yolks and the ice cream will be ready. The eggs and the cream are fully combined now and we've got this nice smooth creamy mixture. We're simply just going to put this in the tub and then we're going to freeze it uh, until it's set and then our vanilla ice cream is ready. So the next stage I'm going to make a little strawberry puree, a strawberry and orange puree actually. I've got 500 grams of some just diced um, strawberry. I've got the juice of an orange, the zest of an orange and 100 grams of icing sugar. So I'm just going to put these all together. And we're going to blend them together into a pulp. Now I'm simply just going to push the pulp through a fine sieve so that we get a really nice uh, smooth. Okay, we're in the final stages of um, the preparation of this dessert and we're going to make the strawberry cream. So we've just got a pint of softly whipped cream, double cream. I've got some diced strawberries here and then the strawberry and orange puree that you saw us make a few moments ago. So literally all I'm going to do is add some of the diced strawberry into the cream. It's really until it looks like there's enough in there. And we're going to use some of the, the puree in there as well just to add flavour. And then we're literally just going to whisk this together. Okay, so there's the strawberry and cream element. So in a few moments we're going to plate up and then you'll see the finished dough. Okay, all the elements are now ready for our uh, pavlova, so we're now going to plate it up and show you the olive trees version of strawberry pavlova. So I've put the cream into a piping bag and we're just going to pipe it into this little mould. I'm just going to blow torch gently around the edge. I'm also just going to blow torch our little hazelnut meringues. Okay, so we've got the cream on the plate. We're now going to add the uh, strawberry and orange puree. So, our little strawberry twill on the side there. And like some diced strawberry. On top of that, our vanilla ice cream. I'm going to add a couple of little tasted meringues. few slices of strawberry. And a couple of the meringue sticks. And that is our version of strawberry pavlo. So now it's ready, obviously we've got to taste it, so we're going to get in there. A little bit of the ice cream, some of the cream and meringue, a bit of strawberry. It's really the taste of so much delicious.